I'm all right. Good. Tough loss, but I'm all right. Here we go. Walk us through the, the two throws to Rome. You guys are backed up third 19. You hit him on a scramble drill and then the fade. Yeah. Um, you know, we called a play and uh, pocket started squeezing down a little bit on the first one. And, um, you know, uh, when it comes to two men and things like that, it's 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 find your one on ones and find your guys. And, um, you know, when it's time to make plays, make plays. Um, obviously, still have the routine plays, but um, at that moment, it was time to make plays. And, um, you know, we, we, did, we did a good job with, you know, uh, finding Rome and, Rome finding space and, and sitting right there, uh, making sure I saw him and um, just let it rip and, and let him make plays. And then on a the fade ball, just, um, you know, good call by, by TB. Um, I think uh, they would be expecting a run or, um, you know, um, you know, getting something near the sticks. And, uh, we, you know, you always, it's a matchup league, as, as everybody tells you. Um, and so uh, to be able to have, you know, my guy, Rome, um, one-on-one with somebody, went off the line, um, kind of knowing that the DB's, um, you know, in, 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 in catch-up mode, um, you know, give him a, a, a back shoulder ball and uh, either he's going to get a PI or he's going to catch it. And so, um, you know, he did just that, made the catch, great catch, unbelievable catch, and, um, you know, uh, got us going. Can you describe your emotional swing of uh, anticipating a game when he kicked there and then gets blocked and you're walking out of here as a loser? Yeah, um, not a loser. Um, situation to learn from. Um, you know, if we want to really go back, um, the drive before, um, ended up punting. Um, and, uh, you know, if we score right there, put three points on the board or um, anything like that, um, it makes the it makes the game a lot different. Um, and so uh, that's even before the two-minute drive. Uh, we had the ball with like five minutes left. And so, uh, you know, um, on that drive, can do better, uh, make a few more uh, routine plays, um, you know, be better in those ways. But, um, you know, it starts there. And then, you know, when we get those, those shots at the end, um, you know, that's all you can ask for. Um, defense, um, I know, obviously, uh, they gave up a touchdown, put us back on the field uh, with, with more than enough time uh, to be able to go down and score. Um, and uh, I put those guys back on the field and do it all over again um, if we had to. So um, believe in those guys, um, believe in them over and over and over again. Um, that's my guy, Santos, um, and, 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 and that special teams unit. Um, and we do it all over again. What did you learn on the third and nineteen? The third and nineteen that you hit Rome, and then you go back to him on fourth down, like getting out of the jam like that. What did you learn about yourself in that moment? Um, I wouldn't say that I learned anything about myself. Um, make plays. Um, you got guys around you to make plays, get the ball in their hands, um, and give them opportunities, and they'll go make them. Um, and so that's what I believe in. I believe in my guys, my wide receivers, running backs, tight ends, whoever it is, offensive line. Um, you know, they held. We held up long enough. Um, uh, broke out of one tackle, gave Rome a shot. He found a space. Um, that's all you can ask for. You deal with so many things going wrong in, in your first season here that you don't have any control over, you know, the two losses like this and the coaching change. Yeah, you keep going. Um, that's my that's my mindset uh, for just about anything. I called uh, or Lincoln. Um, Lincoln Riley called me um, the other day and um, just wanted to talk to me, check in, um, and things like that. And um, it's something that he told me my freshman year when I wasn't in a position that I wanted to be in, um, which was I uh, wasn't starting at the time. He told me to keep going. And um, at that time, I didn't necessarily know what those two words meant. I wanted more than that. I wanted to um, hear a little bit more than that, and that's all he told me. And um, I use those words, you know, to this day. Um, once I, you know, got the starting spot and I just kept working, kept going, um, that's all you can do. I mean, that's all we can do um, is keep going, uh, keep our head down um, and find ways to win. And so uh, we're going to keep doing that. What felt better and worked better for you today with Thomas as the coordinator? Yeah, I think I think um, us us being in control, Thomas being in control, um, I think just, you know, getting a few calls in super fast. Um, as soon as, you know, the, uh, a play happened, Thomas was right on the – um, right on the headset, um, giving me the play. Um, and then uh, from there, I think he just strung, strung, uh, strung plays together uh, pretty well. Um, and formations and motions and everything looking the same. And, um, you know, I think the guy's mindset, um, and I think it started early on this week when, when Thomas, um, you know, got the job and, you know, he went up in front of everybody and he talked about how this was going to be. And it was going to be, it was going to be a battle this week. But, you know, when we're out there, we're going to fight. Um, and we're gonna um, we're gonna execute. We're gonna fight. Um, we're gonna have that that mindset of um, go out there and, 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 and kick some tail. And um, you know the guys did a good job this week uh, throughout the week um, showing that. And then obviously you get into game day and you know you just do the same thing that you didn't practice. And um, you know 
Hard work pays off. Caleb, how does the pre-snap motion help you? Yeah, so pre-snap motions either um, uh, they get people displaced uh, for runs and lanes and uh, blocking assignments, or you know if it's if it's uh, in the passing game or um, anything like that, um, whether it's uh, a play action, whether it's you know no play action and things like that, just a drop back. Um, sometimes it gives you leverage, um, and then sometimes it also um, you know mixes up people's eyes, um, safeties, and things like that to be able to um, hit explosives, uh, to be able to to gain easy access throws. Um, with with you know maybe you know DBs and things like that backing off once you get a motion going their way and a fast motion or uh, maybe even a slow motion going their way and then you know they'll back off and you get a free uh, free access though for five yards maybe more uh, with the type of guys we have so um, those are how motions uh, help us. Caleb, how big of a difference is there or was there between the timing of Thomas getting the play calling versus Shane? Yeah, I think I think both guys did a good job, um, but I think there was a few instances where. Um, you know, Tom, like I said, Tom is right after or, or um, you know, right after one of the guys go down on a run or uh, one of the guys uh, catch a pass and go down. Thomas is like right on the mic um, and sometimes a little tougher to hear right in that moment because it's a, you know, normally a positive play. Um, and so he'll just keep repeating it. Um, and then we'll have about 30 seconds on the clock and um, getting the huddle 30 to 25. And then you break the huddle around 20. Um, 20 seconds and uh, you get up there and you know now you can use all all your different cadences like we were doing today and uh, mixing it up so the D-line can uh, you know can't get a jump on a snap. But do you yeah. consider that a little thing that makes a big difference? Yeah I think I think uh, all things like that all little things um, tend to be large and in, 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 in big moments um, and, and uh, every moment in a football game is is, is pretty big because you only you know that one play that one drive um, you know you never know how many you're going to get um, in a game um, especially you know versus a team like that. Um, um, and already in the NFL, uh, drives and possessions are very limited. So, um, you know, those those small things always, you know, tend to be large. Yeah, what, about running, what about running? Did Thomas coach you a little differently on running today? No, 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 no. I uh, lanes opened up. Um, my only my only goal is to help this team win. Um, and so, if it, if a lane opens up. Um, and, and to be able to um, go get a few yards, um, play efficient ball, uh, keep us in uh, very manageable um, situations. Um, that's my that's my job, and so that's what happened today. Um, there was a few times where they played man. I know there was a, a play where Keenan actually won, and I end up taking off. Um, uh, but I was already taken off because of the lane opened up before uh, Keenan actually won. And um, you know, there's you know there's times where you want to make that throw and um, things like that happen. But playing a fishing ball, we end up getting points on that drive and um, end up scoring on that drive. And so um, you know, I think uh, just just understanding that playing efficiently um, and 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 finding ways to keep the team um, and the offense and and very manageable uh, manageable positions. Were you more decisive as a runner today than you had been, or do you? Yeah, I think uh, there was a few times where um, I saw the lane and just took it um, and, and uh, took off. Uh, I think uh, being more decisive as a runner, um, I think when I when I run, I, I think I'm pretty decisive, um, whether it's getting down, running, or whatever the case may be. So um, I just saw a few lanes, um, one to help the team and uh, find ways to help the team, um, and uh, those are the ways today. Let's go more with the, starting with the drive to end the first half. You guys trying to get the three state scoring drives. What did that flow feel like comparatively to what you guys were in the funk of the last few games? Yeah, uh, obviously it feels good. Um, you know, when you could string together a few drives where, uh, whether it's three or seven, um, being able to string together a few drives um, is always good. Always a good feeling as an offense. Uh, you go, you work. You know, super hard throughout the week, um, and then not being able to go down and score is is, is frustrating and tough, um, as you as you may um, assume. But um, being able to do it today, I think it I think it builds confidence for us. Um, you know, having those bright moments where we're able to uh, run or um, and, and and those situations where um, you know it's. No, I mean, Coach Kev was on the field a few times where he thought he was going to uh, bring out the, you know, the, the, the kicking unit. Um, and that's just the belief in us. Um, that's the belief in the play caller. And um, it showed up today. Caleb, what did it mean to have Braxton back? Braxton? Yeah. What would it mean to have him back? I saw you, you helped him up at one point and he helped you up at one point. What did it mean to have him back? Yeah. So, I mean, um, you gain you gain so much trust and in, 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 in belief in your guys that you've been getting reps with for um I mean, a, a bunch of months now. I don't even know how many months I've been here. Um, time's been flying. 
And uh, to be able to, you know, um, have your guy back um, that's been, like I said, building confidence in him, trusting him, um, is, is great. Um, you know, I think the other guys that, you know, have filled in, and um, I think they've done a good job, like, like Jake uh, today. Um, he did a great job today. Um, I make sure um, that he knows that. I've made sure that he knows that, and um, I appreciate him. And, um, you know, we're going to keep going. Uh, but like I said, it, it, was, it was great to have uh, Big 70 back. Thanks, awesome. Thank you. The Bears. 